good evening cricket lovers uh, you are listening dcl talk show on dcl radio today is um, august 9th uh, time is 9 o'clock and um, before i start today's show um, we have um, uh, venkat vadnala and um, imti is going to be a bit late today but and um, for uh, the first time um, after several attempts Mahesh Muthiala agreed to join uh, our show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. So uh, let me introduce uh, our guys first, and then um, with uh, with a thank you note to our empires, we'll start the show. Ven- Venkat, welcome to the show. Hey, Jagan, thanks for having me. Welcome all the DCL listeners. Um, hopefully, we'll have a good show today, uh, talking about all the important key games and their rankings and their future games. Welcome all. <clears throat> Welcome Mahesh Muthiala. Thanks Jagan. Thanks for bringing me to this show. Hi DCL uh, radio listeners. Uh, it's a really great honor to me be, to be part of uh, this great show which has been running uh, for the last two years. Right Jagan if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So yeah. Thank us. you so much. And again finally I'm able to make it. Uh, <laughs> like <laughs> Jagan said he requested me many times but as you guys know um we have our practices and our playing level discussions so those all are the causes for me not being part of the show till now so but good to be part now never late then better later than never so uh, thank you it. thank you a lot for accepting my request and uh, with that um, uh, before we jump into our um, uh, games i just would like to say thanks to all those uh, empires who did a um, wonderful job last weekend and um, um and uh, your sim uh, are empires or or you know uh, that's a job that is thankless always but i know how great um our our empires are how tough um, um they are handling the job uh, it's it's actually though a lot of emotions go against them in the game but everybody's end of the day very thankful to those wonderful guys uh, who sacrificed their um, you know <laughs> uh, <clears throat> best time for the sake of best game best outcome okay with that let's get into our uh, uh, regular talk show uh, the first game of the night is indus thunders versus brownstone um, as usual uh, last week all our um, <clears throat> analysts predicted indus thunders to win uh which is what happened so with that uh the uh, honor goes to guest of the night mahesh muthiala your thoughts on this game um thanks again uh, so in the standard versus brownstone game it's always a challenging game for uh, both the teams um where uh, in the standard one by 46 runs and they sit uh, pretty comfortably uh, top of the pool with 44 points um in the standards they scored 134 for eight wickets a lot of eight wickets but interesting stat here if you look at uh, uh in the standards um, score card the, the i think the one down two down third down uh, three down batsmen they scored um, significant runs there but the interesting stat comes from 15th over they were only like 58 runs in 15th over but finally they ended up at 134 which is like 80 runs in last 10 overs So Shrikant Jairwal looks like uh, he went berserk and he scored a uh, 33 runs in 20 balls. So and uh, same as uh, Madhusudan Haveri. So looks like their eight wicket partnership itself is around 50 runs, um, which is an interesting. Like 10 overs, 80 runs, BCL, which we are not very used to listen to those scores, right? Uh, so that's very interesting. And um, looks like Haider from uh, Brownstone bowler, um, he got uh, three wickets for seven runs, and he is the fifth. bowler i guess he just bowled a 3.2 i don't know why he was not able to finish his quarter maybe uh, i think he's injured or something i guess i don't know the real truth but uh, his quarter is completed by someone else so uh, it would have been different he finished his quarter i guess so that's from uh, uh, understanders um, uh, batting card um com- coming to brownstone batting um, they scored uh, 88 runs uh, against um, formidable Indus bowling attack, uh, which consists uh, Dinesh, Rahul, Chetan, Varma, Chetla, Madhu. Yeah, that's uh, 
good bo- good bowling attack and they scored uh, 88 but pick of the bowlers i guess is uh, dinesh and rahul they got uh, three wickets rahul uh, among between those two rahul got uh, three wickets for eight runs looks like uh, he was very um, stingy in giving those runs i guess so uh, but uh, coming to brownstone batting uh, amar hussain who scored 32 runs uh, i don't have the ball stats anything uploaded yet maybe uh, they did i think they did paper scoring so uh, he is the standout batsman from the brownstone uh, scoring 32 runs uh the stall chipped in with uh, single digits um and the extra for the second highest score in that inning uh, with 16 runs okay so end of the day batting disappointed um uh disappointing batting by uh, brownstone okay before i, I get think, uh, just on that note i think the last 10 hours uh i think they set the momentum for the uh, indus thunders i guess uh, that must be the crucial part of the game for that yep i agree uh with that before i get into our next game uh, we have imti here welcome to the show imti thank thanks jagan uh, hello hey hey mahesh hey venkat hey imti so imti straight away to you kites versus um pokeries yeah uh this game uh, it was always expected pokeries uh, would be the uh, front line contenders to win this game and as expected the result is in favor of pokeries uh, they won this game convincingly in the end uh, i think actually they dominated uh, in the chase if we go into the details uh, kites won the toss they elected to bat uh, and uh, they were uh, not able to uh, put any kind of pressure i think on the bowling because uh, when i look at the bowling card for pokeries they they have like very decent economy rates and uh, except for sunil from kites uh, nobody else uh, Uh, got going in the uh, batting. Uh, Sunil scoring 33 runs from 56 balls, and the only other double-digit score is from Yadagiri, 11 runs, and uh, 13 extra. So these are the three formidable scores in their batting lineup. And looks like uh, uh, Pokeries did a very good uh, job in containing. Uh, uh, if you look at the bowling figures, also like all, almost all the bowlers are sharing wickets between themselves. But uh, uh, the st- uh, Uh, Ranjit picking two wickets in his five overs, and then Aditi also being very miser in his bowling, twelve runs uh, for in in his five overs. Uh, yeah, and uh, going half into the game, uh, chasing eighty nine, Pokeries always have a very strong batting unit, and uh, they actually did it in very uh, easily in thirteen point three overs. Like that ninety runs in thirteen point three overs is like that shows how 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 much of a dominating uh, performance that was in the batting department from. uh the main star of their batting in the chase was aditya kargadi with 47 runs in 32 balls uh, which includes four sixers so he just ran away with the game there uh, even though uh, uh, kites kind of had uh, initial breakthroughs in the first few overs but i think the fourth wicket partnership just sealed it uh, aditya and prabhu uh, putting up those uh, 63 runs and if you look at the bowling figures from kites uh, not much to talk about they just lost uh, they just got four wickets and uh, yeah there was no containment or any kind of pressure on pokeries uh, pokeries uh, when getting all the five points along with the bonus point and still in contention i think it's very important for them to win the next two games to uh, stay in the playoff race okay very well said the next game of the night is falcons versus uh, fcc uh, everybody expected falcons to win uh, which is not a surprising thing but uh, the way they won um, they I, i i'm guessing falcons have declared to the league that um they are back into the contention of um, of um, dcl uh, cup uh, your thoughts captain well, <laughs> chicken i mean i will take that uh, uh, as a big uh, plus point but i don't think you know we are looking for cup but i am definitely looking for a playoffs because we missed playoffs along with glcc and we both are doing good and being the top 2 of the pool b i mean that tells that uh, we can't have two successive seasons with uh, failure so hopefully we'll continue and we'll uh, come out with flock colors going back to this game i mean falcons definitely wanted to um, you know get a win with a bonus and also try to improve their run rate so that was the plan to begin with and we get, got into the game with the full team that was available and uh, as you see we won the toss and elected to bat because i know we could put some runs and try to get them out soon so that uh, we can improve on the run rate 
and that's exactly what we did here. And uh, uh, with a new combination of uh, our opening partnership, since we are missing the leap, uh, we decided to go with Jayant and Venkat, uh, Venki. And uh, if you see the scorecard, I mean, they they pretty they were pretty good. And uh, um, everybody, I mean, on the top six have actually put their uh, um, efforts in chipping runs and getting the total ticking uh, and pass 163. I mean, that's that's the highest score of Falcons so far. The only thing I will ever, I will always say that, you know, Falcons always miss those huge scores. I mean, you know, I see all the other scorecards from other teams. Uh, I always see like there's a 60 there, there's a 50 there, there's an 80 there. But that's always one thing that I always say that Falcons have never got into. And I hope, uh, you know, somebody will have, keep going there and getting those uh, huge totals, uh, except for uh, Shashank, who got it against uh, Tamil Pasenge. I think he's the only one who's passed 50. But I think uh, no complaints. I mean, 163 is a, definitely a huge score and uh, getting those runs and then coming back with the bowling attack that we had, uh, you know, and getting them out for 39 runs definitely gave us uh, what we needed. So the leaders in the batting scorecard was definitely all four, I would say, not anyone. Uh, and when it comes to their bowling attack, I mean, Alicia was definitely the the gem of the bowlers in the in the initial overs, but I think he gave few runs away and was definitely not uh, uh, the pick of the bowlers. But uh, Mohamed Omer, the, his first two overs was uh, have actually gone for runs, but he actually came back strong, and I was definitely impressed with this uh, bowling uh, spell in the next three overs and uh, being the pick of the bowlers uh, with two for thirty one. And uh, as as you have seen, I um, mean, in, in the scorecard tells it all. I mean, except Rehan, who actually, uh, um, you know, got uh, was the last batsman to get out, and uh, he came at one down, and he was the only guy who was trying to save everybody, t- telling them to just save your wicket, play on. But nobody, uh, I think, uh, um, they had no clue, and every ball was, you know, a, a wicket-taking ball, and uh, that actually helped Falcons to knocked them out for 39 runs and getting getting a huge uh, uh, win for the team that is much needed for them to go into the next two weeks. Pick of the bowlers, I mean, again, uh, Raghutari, um, sp- splendid uh, uh, bowling performance there for three for five. And uh, happy to see Raghu uh, coming out uh, with good uh, spells nowadays. That's it. With that, let's get into our next game, Rising Stars versus uh, Raptors. Uh, the more closer we get to the um, playoffs, you know, these uh, Indus Thunders and Raptors, these are the two teams uh, that are looking very threatening uh, in, in our entire league. Your thoughts, Mahesh? Mahesh, can you hear me? Oh, sorry. I was on mute. Sorry. <laughs> I was just talking on it. Yeah, totally agree to your statement, Jagan, uh, because um, uh, the both the teams are looking formidable and uh, sitting uh, comfortably at the top with 44 points. Um, looks like uh, Raptors have a little bit slight advantage with the run rate, but uh, yeah, like you said, they are really uh, looking uh, scary and threatening to other teams at this point. Um, again, uh, coming to this match, Raptors, uh, it's a uh, Huge win for them. Uh, they won the match by 82 runs. Uh, uh, as usual, the, I mean, they won the toss and they elected to bat. Um, one good thing I see here is uh, for Rising Stars, uh, they got a rush for a uh, low score, but uh, Praveen, um, then uh, Vihar Vaidya and Pradeep Bhatta are the standard batsmen in uh, Raptors uh, batting lineup. Uh, Praveen scored 40. Uh, I, I guess he took five wickets also. Um, not uh, many times we see the player uh, scoring 40 runs and uh, picking five wickets in a single game. Uh, we have Vaidya and uh, gave a nice um, uh, and form a partnership with uh, Praveen uh, Kumar. And uh, then I think Bota finished up with uh, 26 runs from 20 balls. Uh, so that's the, the batting squad for the Raptors. They scored, but they were all out in 143. So, um, Rising Stars can uh, take credit for that, getting uh, all the 10 wickets. Uh, uh, coming up to bowling, uh, Prashant Patel and uh, Amit Kumar Joshi are the standout bowlers for Rising Stars. Uh, both of them picked three wickets apiece. Um, 
other than that, the rest of the bowlers chipped in with uh, one one wicket uh, for everyone uh, coming to rising stars uh, batting lineup uh, uh, i guess it's uh, prashant patel and chetan are the only two batsmen who went into double digits the stall are in single digits uh, also not much uh, thing to say because i don't have the complete details here uh, as well on their batting card but interesting thing is uh, raptors tried with uh, nine bowlers <laughs> so looks like only their wicket keeper and the other one someone else is missing they have nine bowlers and uh, standout bowler is uh, <clears throat> pravin kumar again with uh, five wickets for just 10 runs um raj got two wickets and uh, rahul and uh, vihar vaidya uh, got a wicket apiece so um so looks like in a uh, very comfortable and a cruising victory for raptors uh, this week okay <clears throat> The next game of the night is KECC versus Gladiators. Last year we were, uh, I mean, bit uh, discussing about uh, uh, this game, and uh, see because of uh, corporate cup, um, s- some questions were there. Yet everybody picked Gladiators. To our surprise, um, they ended up losing second game of the season, one to Detroit Bulls and the other one to KECC. So. this is exactly why you know i i i felt raptors and uh, thunders are really looking uh, dangerous so your thoughts empty yes jagan now i completely agree to your uh, statement like uh, we have been, like we were discussing last week about the predictions we thought uh, uh, raptors glcc and knockers would be affected by the corporate cup and uh, we also had discussion about gladiators but i think it affected gladiators the most because uh, gladiators uh, uh, playing this game without ronak u patel hardeep singh amog arjun ajbani i think even though their main frontline players were not there but gladiators still is a, such a strong team they were expected to win this game but i think kcc uh, uh, stunned everybody uh, they did everything right from the beginning uh, they won the toss they elected to bat and uh, put the runs up front on the board uh, uh putting up 102 runs uh, thanks to a beautiful innings from hemant their captain he is their uh, f- uh, main main batsman and uh, uh, he has always uh, scored big and i think he's also scored a century this year uh, in other uh, tournaments so i think he's in a good touch and i think he just continued his form here uh, scoring 44 runs uh, right in the top of the order uh, he got good uh, uh, support from prasanna 19 runs in the middle order and then i think uh, there were a uh, few extras that added to the total and they put up this 102 runs uh gladiators uh, if you look at their bowling i think and their their uh, main bowler taif and uh, hari mm-hmm. and udit they kind of bowled good but uh, at the same time taif their uh, uh, their fastest bowler i would think this season uh, he went for 31 runs and uh, like if you look at the wickets column the only uh, outstanding bowler is udit for three wickets in his five overs quota so uh, i think 102 still a very chaseable total for uh, likes of gladiators uh, but uh, definitely going halfway into the game uh, uh, kcc would have been confident because uh, glads gladiators doesn't have their full strength team so they might uh, have had an outside chance going into the second half and boy oh boy hemant just coming back in the bowling department also picking up five wickets mahesh in his earlier game was saying that it's very uh, rare to see uh, an all-round performance where bat in batting department scoring 40 plus runs and picking five wickets in the same game happens very rarely uh, another instance in the same week hemant picking five wickets and i think that that bowling spell just put a gladiators on the back foot uh, right from the beginning except for mehang and uh, hari uh, in double digits uh, there is no notable performance in their batting score card so uh it was all uh it, to some to some the whole game i think it was like uh one one man show hemant uh picking uh, five wickets in bowling and also scoring 44 runs and i think in the bowling uh, uh hemant also got a good supporting role from uh, his other bowler abista who picked up four wickets so i think when you have two bowlers picking up like almost the entire uh, opponent team i think that was just some good clean uh, bowling and uh, putting the opponent in pressure uh, in the end glads just bundled up for 71 and uh, just one more point i wanted to add was like uh, we have been talking about the strongest teams in this season raptors indus thunders and gladiators was one of the other teams 
who were looking very strong on paper, but because of their two losses, one against Detroit Bulls and this one against KCC, they have kind of slipped down in that lineup. And I think right now, Indus Thunders and Raptors are looking very strong. And definitely chance for other teams that Gladiators can be beaten and that I think that will be playing on their mind. So basically, the psychological advantage is lost. Yes. Yeah. So with that, let's get into our uh, <clears throat> next game. With the out, outside chance to make it to playoffs, Indus Bowls, they did what um, they have to do. And <clears throat> your thoughts, Vadnala? Yes, definitely. Uh, Indus Bowls is actually uh, looking forward, uh, you know, I mean, I think they, they still have a very good chance to get into the playoffs because uh, they still have three more games and they're standing at 28. And uh, if you see, I mean, their biggest competitors would be, you know, strikers and warriors, I would say. I mean, um, with, you know, warriors not having uh, uh, Jesse and Mukul, and I think they are really struggling. So if they really um, get into a groove and try to get those wins, uh, what needed against the teams that they can, uh, they definitely have a very good chance into making to the playoffs, and I think the reason they would, I would say that they are at in in the chase of a playoff uh, game is because of two people. I mean, I would say that if you see last year's, I mean, I remember Azim and uh, Tripathi. I mean, Tripathi didn't play a lot last year, and Azim, although he played, but he wasn't going in the top of the order. And this year, I think. The good move is probably sending him up the order, and he is actually doing pretty good. I mean, he got out quickly for against Raptors and uh, one other team, I don't remember, but he's been scoring 15, 20, 25, and doing actually what he's supposed to do. I mean, putting partnerships, and I think that's exactly what happened here in this game. Both of them, you know, stepped up, and uh, after they were, you know, 14 for down for 14 for two put a good decent partnership uh, 36 runs and then another decent partnership between Tripathi and Raj Segal I think that that actually sealed the game for them and uh, uh, scoring 147 runs was was all written uh, with these two partnerships and uh, on the other end I mean rises I know we all know that they haven't uh, won a lot of games and the morale is down and giving too many extras especially 21 extras 21 wides definitely contributed a lot to getting them to the total of 147. So overall good performance by Tripathi and Azim. And I think uh, that's that's the highlight of the first part. And coming back to the second part, I mean, we all know that um, Risers didn't didn't actually uh, get into the game right away. They lost quick wickets on the top. The to- total um, collapse in the top order. The only batsman that stood there and probably was challenging is Shravan and uh, along with him was Sheikh. Those two guys really stood up and uh, gave a good decent partnership when they needed but it was not enough uh, to get to the massive total of 147. So uh, overall I think Indus Bolts um, are going to look uh, forward to uh, the coming games because they will be pay- facing Warriors, which we, as I said, is one of their competitors in getting to the playoffs. And the second game is Strikers. It's another team that's also challenging them uh, for that position. So those two games will actually uh, will decide the Pool C rankings for the fourth, fifth uh, spots. So good luck and uh, hard luck rises. The next game of the night is Dark Horses versus Legends. And we have Dark Horses captain who is also injured and not playing, um, what kind of effect it has on the on, on, on his team is something uh, we'll hear from him, uh, from Captain himself, who is the guest of the night. Mahesh. Pass. Pass. <laughs> next <laughs> game, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean... Um, uh, one good thing uh, here is the full kudos goes to Legends team. Um, as usual, another disappointing loss for uh, Dark Horses. Uh, this is the same thing happening from last five matches. Uh, uh, Dark Horses uh, defeated the wicket and then um, they let the match with away from their hands. So uh, to start with, um, uh, Dark Horses, I guess they won the uh, Legends won the toss and they elected to bat. Uh, uh, Gautam and um, Suhesh were. Uh, they got a good partnership initially for 30 runs, and then Dark Horses came back strongly into the game by picking up uh, next five wickets in a span of 10 runs. And then um, 
it's a uh, one man show with uh, sudha taking uh, all the dark horses uh, bowlers to cleaners and uh, he scored 31 runs uh, again um, looking at a uh, 15 over 49 per six the dark horses were thinking uh, uh, the, the game is evenly poised at that point but then um, next last 10 overs they gave away, gave away around uh, 60 runs and uh, um, they got like 109 as a target for them uh, the standout batsman is again as i mentioned it is sudha from uh, legends and again good contributions from uh, hitin and um, gautam um coming to dark horses bowling um, vishwa vishwa as usual the main bowler for uh, uh, dark horses he got he picked up a initial wicket uh, but uh, <clears throat> the standout bowlers or i don't call them as the standout bowlers but uh, highest wicket takers for that match is jashwant and uh, bala so they got two wickets apiece so everyone uh, um the rest of them got one one wicket apiece so um uh, that's the from the bowling coming to batting uh, shrikant started with uh, the bowling and uh, he started so nicely and not leaking runs and picking wickets at regular intervals so none of the dark horses batsmen were able to uh, <coughs> score uh, freely uh, against uh, shrikant and uh, pravin atkatla so the standout batsman for dark horses is just uh, Sahil and uh, Pankaj Wat who scored uh, 10 runs uh, each and uh, rest all of them are in single digits so not nothing much to talk about dark horses bowling they were bundled out for uh, 42 runs uh, the bowlers uh, it's Srikanth Nadne and Nitin Parsa show all the way they both got uh, three wickets uh, at an economy of 1.75 and uh, 1.8 which is uh, not definitely not this season it's an outstanding performance from the bowlers fan point uh, just at 1.7 and 1.8 with this dcl ball this season is a really a commendable performance and also pravin has got lost pitch in with uh, two wickets uh, so dark horses has no answers to uh, legends bowling um, again the, all the credit goes to uh, legends team and uh, they are sitting comfortably at third position uh, this game is crucial for uh, both legends and dark horses because uh, if you look at the uh, pool a st- standings uh, uh, second i mean the second i mean 2 3 4 5 places there's just one point difference and everyone is breathing on their uh, back of the other team's neck and um, each game is crucial for every game uh, for every team and uh, with this loss uh, legends um, <coughs> they have a good chances of uh, going all the way to playoff and uh, dark courses doors are shut for them now okay then uh, next game of the night is you know uh, basically when two sisters fight it out on any field it generates a lot of spice and interest um and top of it if the big sister loses it it adds more uh, uh, spice to the game so it's the game between fcc and um, and fcc agni uh which uh, in my opinion will decide uh playoff spot that's just my opinion okay your thoughts am empty yeah uh, well said jagan actually uh, the contest between two sister teams here uh, last week uh, during predictions uh, i think it was 2-1 in favor of agni and i think rightly the predictions came out true fcc agni just uh, uh, winning this uh, against uh, their uh, sister team fcc uh like you said the playoffs also kind of it was a very important uh, game uh, because the winner would have uh, advanced a little bit towards the playoff and rightly fcc agni is in contention and i think fcc has very very big chances going forward uh if you look at the game uh, fcc won the toss and elected to field uh, i think that is a decision based on uh, the back of their last few games where they were uh, away they chased uh, some good scores i think uh if you look at the batting scorecard for fcc agni uh not not real uh, good uh, scorecard i would say except for uh, sai kiran uh, who was the mainstay in the batting uh, very low in the middle order uh, i think he kind of held the innings when uh, wickets were falling on the other side uh, if you look at the fall of the wickets it was like very consistently like paced among throughout the innings like they were losing wickets consistently what i would see uh no real uh, big partnership there but i think they scraped uh, through to that 80 89 in that in 22 overs they also did not play the entire 25 overs so that is another point to note here if you look at uh, i think the main reason for that was like uh, good consistent bowling from their frontline bowlers tejas and pana picking who, who who picked up three wickets each 
in their court of overs and also good supporting role from other uh, bowlers picking and sharing the wickets among themselves and uh, when you look at a score of 89 uh, in this season and uh, with fcc's uh, recent performance with the bat i think fcc would definitely have had uh, uh, high hopes and confidence of chasing this down easily but again that man coming back saikiran who made the difference in the batting picked up five wickets coming like and i think there was a beautiful spell of bowling from saikiran 4.3 overs five wickets for eight runs and like with that economy rate i think he just shut the gates for fcc if you look at the batting for fcc like no 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 contributions at all in their batting except from only d- double digit scores i see are from uh, vamshi uh, kk 10 runs and then ragu 12 runs i think they needed uh, somebody like rahul to step up i'm not sure why he came so low down the order because he is their uh, highest scorer this season and i'm not sure why he is batting so low in the batting order i think somebody like ranga or rahul or tejas for that fact should have stepped up and stayed there for the chase and uh, had should have seen through fcc uh, chase this down but unfortunately they they just lost their wickets and they bun- they got bundled out for 70 thanks to uh, the bowling effort from sai again like five wickets i've been uh, talking about this man he's a fantastic player fantastic all rounder and i think such games where uh, you have like these dicey scores of 80 90 and such players coming out and performing uh, like gives very good uh, confidence to the entire team i think and uh, ramesh should be very uh, uh, happy to see this performance from his uh, uh, star player sai and uh, uh, moon also played a good supporting role in the bowling department picking three, picking three wickets uh, helping sai to bundle out the opponents and i think in the end uh, they also got the bonus point so that that shows that fcc agni kind of won it uh, com- uh, comfortably in the end and uh, i think this was uh, fcc's game to lose and uh, uh, hard luck to them that they couldn't cross the line Okay, the next game of the night is GLCC versus Lions. Uh, more than cricket, I think. Uh, what I heard is, it's it's um, a feast of sledging. Okay, started by Lions. I I even normally, you know, um, they shouldn't have picked Samish as a target. They picked him, and um, in return, Samish. Um, I, I what I heard is he took all the wickets of those who sledged him while batting. So that's what happened. Uh, Vandala, your thoughts? So you were saying that uh, they were batting first and sledging. Yeah. Wow, that's good. <laughs> From the dugout. <laughs> From the dugout. Okay. <laughs> well, yes. Um, I mean, um, to begin with the toss. I mean, you know, GLCC won the toss and elected to field. I think that's that's really. Um, surprising especially when they had a huge total a mammoth total against a good team like pokeries i mean i was surprised that they would have probably had the uh, same thing and uh, go with the same thing and choose to bat and then put a decent score and then uh, try to get lions out quick and improve in their run rate but uh, to my surprise glcc elected to uh, field first and that's how i think this legend started putting lions into the bat and i think uh, uh, if we if you see i mean i think the gem of a, a batsman uh, shishidhar is in good form i mean raghupati i think he's he's scored his second 50 this season one against uh, uh, i believe there was uh, i forgot the team but i think it was probably pokeries it's a good decent team yep yep it it was pokeries so scoring 250s one against pokeries and one against glcc speaks for uh, uh, it and i think he's in definitely good uh, uh good season going 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 for him and natraj i mean who we know he's also a good uh, batsman going down he usually comes up and uh, tries to open the innings but uh, seems like he's going down the order still not finding it he's an average of the same 10 runs in match uh is surprising but as uh, jagan was saying that i think the guys who actually uh, were sledging and who got out to samish were the ones actually put some total and uh, scored those runs to get the total to 111 and if i am seeing correctly i think they were only 33 or 32 or 31 after the break and they scored about 80 runs in that next 12 overs is something that we need to watch and uh, see probably what went wrong for glcc i think giving away 80 runs um, was definitely 
uh, a, a huge thing that helped. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure Raghupati, I think he's the one who scored three sixes and was probably playing uh, um, sensible innings in the first half and then going after the bowlers in the second half probably is the reason that really helped the team score 111. So apart from that, I think uh, the pick of the bowlers, as uh, Jagan was saying, uh, the furious Samish getting three for 24. And I think uh, giving a reply and uh, again, the same guy getting into the batting, didn't want to take it down uh, and keep it the same going opening with Ashraf, who actually is the man of the match scoring 42 runs. And uh, the only guy other than Ashraf was Ajit uh, hitting two sixes and scoring 29 runs. And to my surprise, Naseem got a chance to play nine balls, but didn't score a six is, is really uh, uh, very surprising. I'm pretty sure he might have gone, or he couldn't, or I don't know. I don't see a four or a six, but happy to see he's not out and uh, getting those, uh, getting that total within uh, 20 overs. I think is definitely um, he's helping GLCC in picking up that run rate and getting those five important points and securing that first spot, and more importantly, unbeaten in this season. So uh, congratulations, GLCC. Hard luck, Lions. Uh, historically, Sheshidhar always scores uh, really, um, bats really well against GLCC. Every time we played against uh, Lions, I remember I'm scoring really good. Okay, and that's one thing. And I'm sure uh, Naseem scored at least one sixer for sure. I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen the game. I just heard it. So the next game of the night is Canton 11 versus Knockers. This is... Um, this is the game where knockers are probably really under pressure because uh, of uh, this corporate cup. Um, and uh, we had some questions around this game all game. But then uh, in the end, knockers did what they have to do to remain in the contention. So and in my opinion, I think they did wonderful job. Uh, Mahesh, your thoughts? Um, again, yeah, it's definitely, and um, after, uh, I think uh, Knockers got the two losses, back-to-back -back losses against two good teams. Uh, this is a uh, must-win game for them, and uh, they really stepped up, and um, uh, they got a uh, great win um, this game. Uh, but uh, just to talk about this game, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a uh, Canton 11 score card updated. It looks like they missed it, and uh, again... <laughs> I think you must be dancing there because you can get the fines for that. <laughs> <laughs> but it uh, looks like Arun Kumar, again, he has an um, uh, amazing day with um, for, by scoring 57 runs. Uh, and uh, same as with Ganesh, who scored 41 runs, um, not out. Both the batsmen were not out. Not, the only, um, I see where Canton 11 uh, must have fancied their chances when they got... Uh, um, John Titus and uh, Prabhu and Mono Singh wickets. Uh, the first, uh, those are the only three wickets. Uh, and then looks like these guys had uh, close to 100 runs partnership and uh, they sealed the game for uh, Knockers. Um, so, Candle 11, um, uh, Knockers won the toss and they elected, the, elected to field first. And uh, the standout bowler is um, Manjunada Mahadeva for uh, Knockers. Uh, he got three wickets for 24 runs. And uh, Prabhu Mahadeva, yeah, he got a couple of wickets as well. And um, Arun, uh, Deepak, and uh, Ganesh, um, they got uh, one wicket each for uh, knockers. Those are, that's the bowling uh, performance from the knockers side. Um, again, the batting, it's all about uh, Arun and uh, Ganesh, uh, who got close to 100 runs partnership. I don't have any other uh, details about this game, uh, but uh, uh, looks like uh, knockers uh, missed the bonus point here. That's the uh, just the small brownie that Canton 11 got from this game. Uh, again, good win for Knockers and uh, hard luck Canton 11. Okay, the next game is Panthers versus uh, KRCC. Probably this is going to hurt Panthers. Um, uh, Vadnala, your, your thoughts? Yes, I think it was game of the week. Uh, especially if you look at the scorecard, it was a nail-biting finish in the last ball of the 50th over. It's always... Uh, um, pleasure to watch and I think uh, definitely Panthers uh, on the losing end is suffering uh, especially when they are in 
chase for that playoff spot and KRCC is on the other end. They both are actually knocking each other and trying to say that, hey, we are a better team and getting into the playoffs as against the other team. So it was a very good game for both the teams. And I mean, KRCC winning that game is definitely in a better position, securing that fourth spot. And also, um, they will be having a better chance against the Panthers because Panthers will be facing some good teams like Falcons and um, TC Italians, and they will be facing kites in their last game. So Deepak, I'm pretty sure he's working already. Uh, he's already working on getting the best team out there for the day after tomorrow's game against Falcons. And uh, I will be looking at that team uh, on Saturday myself. So uh, going into this game, KRCC, I think Yogesh is doing some magic, getting um, all the key players together and leading from the front. has been a good example for their team um, as, as a person who is actually motivating everybody and saying that, yes, we can do this. And that's exactly what the results are showing. And uh, that's what happened here. Winning the toss, they elected to field. And to my surprise, they are loving to uh, um, chasing huge totals and 111 runs was nothing for them. Panthers getting into the batting, I think, uh, had a very good, uh, decent start. I mean, an amazing start, I would say, scoring 72 runs in the, or 71 runs in the, or sorry, 72 runs in the first 12 overs. I think I heard 74 for two. And what could you ask? I mean, 12 over 74 runs for two loss, and then immediately in the 13th or the, in the 12th over, Rohit gets out on uh, on 53, although um, I wouldn't blame him because he did an excellent job in hitting those 53 runs in 42 balls, was pick of the batsman with four sixes, one four. You can't ask anything uh, more than that. I think he did his job, and I think he gave a good start to the team, but the team actually failed, um, not even scoring the same amount of runs what he individually scored and getting out quickly and tumbling down and getting out for... 111 runs, which is telling that they only scored 39 runs for the loss of those eight wickets. So that is something that they definitely need to go back to the drawing board and see if they can shuffle the batting order or try to bring in some combinations to get those more runs. But I think uh, scoring 111 with the bowling attack they have and uh, um, they probably still fancy their chances getting into the second half. Um, and uh, before we get into the second half, I think KRCC's uh, Arjun Reddy is the pick of the bowler, three for twenty, along with Onkar and uh, Satish, who uh, scored, uh, secured, uh, uh, and Nalin, who scored two wickets each. KRCC didn't get a good start, other than just uh, on one end, Kundan standing there with fifty-one runs. I think he probably matched what Rohit did, but I think he matched it better because he stood there for till the end of, uh, I think, uh, in almost middle of the game or more than that. And I think along with him, the only batsman, and I think the gem of the batsman, who is Ashish Katniss, he's, he's probably uh, helped them to get power the score because he's the guy who hit that 1-6 in that last ball where they scored, needed just one run out of one ball. So uh, that's definitely a good um, show performance from KRCC, again, winning huge against huge teams. Uh, and good luck to Yogesh and KRCC and hard luck Panthers. Okay, the next game of the night is uh, Imti's game, Blazers versus Blues. Imti. Uh, yes, Jagan. Uh, I think after uh, last week's game uh, for Blazers against their uh, Dark Horses, the very low scoring game, I think this was again uh, a good uh, outing for Blazers. Uh, they put up a good batting performance and uh, uh, Blues uh, uh, were not able to uh, be any match there. Uh, if you go into the details of the game, Blues won the toss and elected to field, which was surprising because I was expecting them to bat first, uh, considering the fact that uh, we, we we were having uh, problems in the last game against Dark Horses batting first. So, anyways, uh, they, they fielded first and uh, thanks to uh, Zishan Gori, uh, our new recruit, uh, scoring 68 runs, uh, along with Harish Chawa put up a 77-run partnership for the fourth wicket, and that helped uh, our team score 138 runs. Uh, Zishan, uh, I think, uh, easily the best uh, recruit for our team so far, and uh, he's a very steady batsman. Uh, I think we were uh, missing that one element in our batting so far, and I think with Zishan, uh, 
uh, adding uh, having added to the team i think that gives us more uh, stability in the batting order and uh, uh, if you look at the bowling for blues um, really not much to talk about there uh, because almost every bowler was going for runs there and they they used seven bowlers uh, which is like very unusual but i think blues were a little down in the field when they were in uh, fielding except for srini uh, who was the acting captain in this game uh, i did not see any other uh, uh, player uh, who was at least uh, had that enthusiasm or uh, uh, the zeal to play uh, to come and uh, perform i think they were just uh, numbers on the ground at least in the fielding when they were fielding except for srini i didn't see any uh, real commitment or real uh, uh, show of uh, commitment there uh, if we go into the uh, second half of the innings uh, blues after looking at a score of 138 definitely were on the back foot but again uh, i was very very about srini because he is a game changer uh, and he can change any game single handedly and he is improved such a uh so much that like he's single handedly uh, uh won the games for blues uh, in the last few games and uh, he's very improved player this season and uh, his wicket was very important for us they started off very well in the chase the first wicket putting up 35 runs and uh, once we got the first wicket uh, we were a little confident and got through the uh, batting order uh, uh, of the opponents but uh, i think the main wicket was srini when he fell just before on on the brink of the break i think uh, we were very confident that we could easily uh, wrap up the entire uh, opponents and uh, rightly so uh, saif and shreyansh uh, are slow bowlers uh, they just ran through the batting order in the second half and uh, we got them all out for 70 runs and like again uh, just to sum up the game it was like three pe- three people performing uh, zishan 68 in the batting department and uh, saif picking five wickets shreyansh picking four wickets Okay, the next game of the night. And I would like, I would also like to add. Um, sorry, Jagan. So I wanted to uh, talk about uh, Zishan, right? I mean, uh, I have to tell you all the one uh, thing that happened um, before Zishan joined Blazers. I mean, I know Harish Chawa from Falcons joined Blazers and he's doing performing excellent. And along with that, I would say another Falcon or supposed to be a Falcon, Mr. Zishan. Uh, unfortunately, our generous owner, Mr. Hari Parankusham, had this player. and uh, somehow think thought that you know Jishan doesn't fit in falcons or if falcons is already packed and he goes to uh, imti and says that hey do you want to have this guy and uh, imti you know i'm i'm pretty sure he's he's liking his chances and uh, very happy to have uh, a, a player like zishan on his roster and i'm pretty sure they will be doing everything to qualify this guy and go into the playoffs so uh congratulations imti thanks venkat but uh, definitely this is a news to me that he was supposedly <laughs> playing uh, to to he was supposed to play for falcons i heard that he was approached by some other teams but not falcons though no no even i know that uh, imti i had a word with hari and uh, hari mentioned that to me as well okay okay <laughs> okay <laughs> okay uh, the next game of the night is dynamite versus mustangs and you know i'm sure all the cricket lovers uh, they love dynamites a lot because um whenever they get a chance to dominate the teams they never back up so you know it's it's a completely one sided game dominated by dynamites mahesh your thoughts yeah yeah jagan yeah it was a complete domination by dynamite um, so the only good thing happened for mustangs is uh, look like the one bit also the only good thing happened to them that's all is the dynamite uh, uh, show in that game um, mustangs uh, the one bit toss and they elected to bat um, uh, except for uh, nikhil kumar bhavanam um, who scored 17 runs uh, um, none of them uh, none of the other batsmen were able to get into double digits uh, and uh, they are finally bundled out for uh, 40 uh, 40 runs in uh, 15 overs 14.5 overs um nothing much other than uh, nikhil bhavanam to talk about uh, mustangs batting in, in this game um coming to dynamite's bowling uh, looks like uh, they have uh, all the bowlers pitched in and uh, they were really really on top of on top notch of for uh, this game uh, standout will be kartik who bowled four overs uh, got three wickets for nine runs and nicely supported by arun uh, who picked two wickets and uh, gurwaradi again he got two wickets as well and uh, 
Suresh Balakrishnan who got one wicket. Um, good to see whenever uh, we see this type of bowling uh, card. It's really nice to watch. A lot of their bowlers are in single digits after bowling uh, four overs and three overs, which is like um, three to watch uh, bowling card. Coming up to dynamite, they just rolled over uh, Mustang's bowling um, and they chased that uh, 40 runs in five overs for loss of three wickets. Um, the uh, opener, Aditra Goha, who scored 18 runs in 10 balls, and uh, Sai Jitendra scored 19 runs in 12 balls. Um, they are the standout, and I don't have a Mustang's uh, bowling figures here, so uh, again, uh, the match is over in five uh, in uh, five overs, so <laughs> I don't think there is much to talk about uh, that bowling as well. Um, overall, good win for Dynamites. Um, they got all the five points, and now they are sitting comfortably in uh, second spot in Pool C, and uh, um, they are uh, close to sealing their spot in uh, playoffs. Uh, good win, Dynamites. Okay, the next game of the night is Avengers versus uh, Detroit Bulls. The less we talk about as in, uh, Avengers is better for them. That's how they are playing. That's how that team is looking. Okay, the captain is changed, yet the fate is not changed. Um, your thoughts, Vadnala? Exactly the same thing that I was thinking too. I mean, Avengers second season in a row, disappointing. I mean, uh, I think they are definitely struggling and proving that they are struggling even with the change in the lead from the lead in the front. So I think nothing to talk about it. I mean, Detroit Bulls winning the toss, elected to field and did exactly what they were supposed to do, getting this team out for mere 31. I mean, there's actually absolutely nobody that we can talk about in the 11 uh, apart from the extras, which is the highest score and giving away 13 runs. And that's a, that's a big, uh, total in that 31 runs and I'm surprised that you know uh, Bulls were giving away those that many otherwise they could have probably got it in 20s so anyways I wouldn't blame them they got their uh, uh, victory and getting those uh, getting that team out for 31 pick of the bowlers Bharat, Jagdish and uh, uh, Ganga Tanoj actually uh, getting those three wickets for eight is is, is the key for uh, their success in getting that uh, team out for 31. Gino trying and uh, getting his first wicket, I think, uh, in the game, uh, his very first ball, seizing them. And uh, when it comes to chasing, and I've played actually this team. Uh, this, uh, this was the only team that we played uh, in our practice se se season before the season started. And I really had very good uh, 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 points on this team that the players are very <laughs> and energetic. And also what they do is that they don't come strong. They put in partnerships with singles and doubles. And that's exactly what they did here. They they scored 32 in four point. And I think uh, um, if you see their scorecard, I mean, 12 in 17 and 14 in 13 was not like they're going after the bowling and trying to get those 46 runs, like how Dynamite did in four overs. But scoring that 32, what they needed in 4.2, I think was a decent enough, not giving away any wickets and getting that um crucial five five points for this team because they will be have to, they will be facing two good teams in the next two games uh in the form of uh i believe it was mi rangers and blazers so uh definitely we, those two games to be uh definitely watching closely on how things wrap up in uh, pool a but i think i definitely fancy the chances because they already have 32 points under their belt and sitting comfortably at the fifth spot when especially the 6th and 7th are 10 points behind. So I definitely will be hoping to see Detroit Bulls in the playoffs. Congrats. Okay, the last game of the night is MCC Miles versus Safaris. Your thoughts, Simti? Yeah, yes, Jagan. Uh, going into this game, I think it was no surprise that MCC Miles uh, won this game in the end. Uh, Safaris, uh, like... Uh, they're playing their first season, I think, and I still need to come to terms with uh, how to play with T-ball. Uh, I think they, they tried their best in this game. Uh, if you go into the details, MCC Miles won the toss and elected to bat, uh, and they put up a very good score of 101. Uh, thanks to uh, their uh, captain, Ram Saladi, who opened the innings, 23 runs from 25 balls, and then Praneet, who was not out, uh, 22 runs from 17 balls. Uh, these were like the two mainstays in the batting and uh, thanks to some uh, uh, contribution from other batsmen like uh, uh, not not notable but i think uh, everybody kind of uh, chipped in with runs uh, throughout the innings and uh, uh, helped the score uh, cross the 100 mark if you look at the bowling from safaris uh, 
the only uh, standout baller i see is navneet gokulam who picked up three wickets in his four overs and like uh, other wickets being shared among other bowlers like subhash and saran picking two wickets each uh, to sum up uh, mcc miles batting i think uh, i was expecting them to score more runs uh, because they were uh, they have a very uh, good batting unit with the likes of venkat and uh, rahul funny who are like very good uh, batsmen and they can easily uh, clear the boundaries also so uh, i would say they, they kind of fell short uh, uh, in that department uh, thank uh, uh, i think safaris in the end like i would say that they bowled well to restrict them to 101 to uh, to put it in that way uh, chasing uh, 101 safaris i think uh, they they would have been definitely low on confidence looking at the high score but uh, uh, if we look at the batting score card of safaris except for their opener santosh who scored 27 runs uh, thanks to three sixers and one four in that 27 no other batsman really uh, stepped up or uh, gave any support to santosh on the other end they were losing wickets consistently Uh, only a notable performance uh, p- partnership is like 34 runs for the second wicket and then like wickets falling at regular intervals like and they wrapped up uh, their innings at 79 in the end they fell short uh, quite com- uh, considerably uh, 30 runs at uh, i think 22 runs uh, mcc miles won the game uh, got the five points but i think even though mcc miles won this game i think they are missing the playoffs this season so hard luck mcc miles even though they won the game Okay, with that uh, we have concluded all the games of the last weekend, and let's quickly get into uh, our predictions of the weekend games. The first game is Avengers versus Rockers. I'm, I think it is three zero Rockers. Hope uh, no objections there going by Avengers uh, record. Nope. Okay, the next one is uh, Dynamites versus Troy Hawks. It is going to be a great game. Uh, Vanala. I will pick Dynamites. Empty. Dynamite for me. Mahesh. Yeah, I'll go with dynamite to just a. Uh, uh, Borden Park is in uh, Troy, right? Yeah, Troy. Not Troy. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's actually. Uh, what is it? Rochester Hills. Rochester Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, still dynamite. It's, uh, it's long drive for them, but yeah, dynamite. Okay. The next one. Um, and so I would rate the best game. Uh, Of the season, Gladiators versus Indus Thunders. Badnala. Yes, I think it's a very important game for both the teams. I think they will be coming strong to prove uh, uh, who is a better team, not on the paper but on the field. And uh, I am assuming that Gladiators down losing with those two team two games against KCC and uh, the other team, but uh, Indus Thunders on the other end unbeaten. I'm fancying my chances with Indus Thunders. Okay, Imti. uh i think probably the best game of this week uh i think i'll go with gladiators for this game just for the reason that whenever they have had setbacks they come back very strongly in the next game and there would be no exception for this game and since they're playing uh, a team like indus thunders definitely they'll come all all guns blazing i would assume so i think i'll pick gladiators for this game Mahesh. Yeah, more important. More importantly, I think you know. I think uh, I don't think I don't remember any team uh, being unbeaten for two successive seasons. I don't know if Megabyte did that in the past, but I think uh, this is one team that you know is fancying their chances to be unbeaten in the second season uh, because they will be playing Avengers in the in their last game. So if they win this game, I think they they will be again going unbeaten into the playoffs. It's a new record. Basically, no team has uh, done this feat back to back, unbeaten two years. Okay. Uh, so Mahesh, your your pick. Um, I'll go with Indus Thunders because uh, I know Goku how uh, pumped up he will be whenever he plays against Glads. Uh, uh, I know Glads will come come up with all guns blazing, but um, I think Indus Thunders will be ready for all that. And uh, Goku, if he feels his best team, then it's gonna be a uh, good match to watch for this week. Okay, the next one is Panthers versus pa- Falcons. Though uh, my heart says, my heart and mind says Falcons. Um, I want to get it uh, from you guys. Uh, sorry, we are not asking Valdanala here. Imti, I think uh, I'll go with Falcons just for the reason because Panthers uh, are kind of up and down in the season, uh, and it's been a one-man show, Rohit. So if Falcons just get Rohit, I think it should be very easy win for them. Falcons for me. Mahesh. 
Well, another interesting match for this uh, week, uh, Panthers versus Falcons. Um, I'll uh, vote for Falcons, but again, um, I'll again caution them because uh, based on the last season, um, uh, the, I know Falcons lost to Panthers, but this season it's a different Falcons team, so I'll go with Falcons this season. Okay. This year. The, the next game is Knockers versus Southfield Super Kings. Uh, Knockers 3-0. Any objections there? Okay. The next one is Canton 11 versus TCS Stallions. Um, I think TCS Stallions 3-0. Any, any objections there? I'm nope. assuming no. And Strikers versus Mustang. Strikers 3-0. Okay. The next game is uh, Knight Riders versus Lions. Vadnala. Um, well, I mean, uh, again, uh, KICC on top uh, in uh, showing good good performances. I mean, I will continue with them in this game too. Okay, Imti. KRCC. Mahesh. Yep, same here, KRCC. Okay, GLCC versus Tamil Pasang based on record. Uh, GLCC should win. Vadnala, your thoughts? You don't have to go by the records. You can yeah, easily call 3-0. Yeah. <laughs> don't okay. feel shy, Jagan. Yeah, he's trying to be modest here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's the norm we follow generally here. We okay. So the next one is Indus uh, Bulls versus Warriors. Wow, this is going to be very very important game for Indus Bulls. Oh. Uh, if they win, they may, I think they they can lock their um, position, their playoff spot. I I think. I'm guessing. Same for Warriors, Jagan. The same for Warriors as well because um, it's a crucial game for them as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I think if you see the, what the uh, what the spot wise or the, for the points wise, I think this is the most, I think the biggest crucial game for the week, as against uh, Indus Thunders and Gladiators, where they are showing that who would be dominating and would like to go strong into the playoffs. Yeah. Power versus need between these two games. Indus yes. both versus Warriors is a need, whereas the other one is pro- uh, power. So, so what's your take? Is Jesse back? I wanted to ask that question. Is, is he coming back for this game? I don't know. Yeah, I think they they are definitely missing his uh, him or his leadership. I think and uh, struggling, and I don't see anything different. And uh, being in those bowls, um, they could have easily fancied their chances. But without Mukul, without Jesse, I would probably go with Indus bowls. Inti. Uh, a very interesting game. Uh, like you said, it's very crucial for both the teams. Uh, and Indus Bulls, after their back-to-back wins, I think they're more motivated. Uh, I will still go with Warriors. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with Warriors. That's Jagan, I'm, I'm surprised that you're still asking Imti for Warriors and Blazers. <laughs> I thought it was it was granted and it was given, right? Yeah. Did anything change? Nothing changed. It's the same. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mahesh. Um, just for the cause that if Warriors lose this game, they will be slipping to sixth position. I think uh, with that in my mind, I, they will be more sensible. I go with Warriors here. Okay. Rising Stars versus FCC. I'm giving it to FCC. Any objections there? No. no. Okay. The next one is Raptors versus Riser- Risers. Giving it to Raptors. I hope no objections. No comments. We are entering the game. <laughs> good, good. You reminded me. Okay. Uh, um, Brownstown versus TCA Knights. Again, it is Brownstown 3-0 is what my guess. Any objections there? Well, I mean, we can't easily say that because um, I think uh, Brownstown is, is the most critical game for them. They cannot slip away with uh, one point or uh, four point. I mean, uh, with the last zero there because they are at 22 with the only team that has to play three more games. They'll be fancying their chances to at least get 12 to 14 points and try to secure that fifth spot. So it's a crucial game for them. But on the other side, you know, TC and Knights have actually surprised quite a few teams when they come with their full team. So um, it's not, I'm, I don't think it can be 3-0, uh, although it should be. But um, I, I, although, I, I mean, I, I'll still say that I'll go with Brownstone, but we can just probably give them away by saying 3-0. Okay, so Imti, your thoughts? No, I think I'll still go with Brownstone just for the uh, added adding the fact that it's very crucial and Brownstone just need to win all the three games to qualify. So they will be motivated enough to win this game. Mahesh? 
Yeah, I'll go with uh, Brownstone because they know that uh, their playoff chances are stake if they lose this game. And uh, after uh, last week uh, loss, um, I think they'll come back strong. Okay. KECC versus Blazers. I'm not asking Imti here. Vadnala? You can go 2-0. Mahesh, you yeah. agree with that? Yeah, I agree. Only if uh, Imti and others can uh, contain uh, Heyman's there. Okay. So... At this time, it is 2-0. And uh, the last game of the night is MI Rangers versus uh, Detroit Bulls. Badnala. Yep. Um, I mean, I will I will fancy Detroit Bulls um, because MI Rangers have somehow uh, uh, lost the, uh, uh, the form they had last year. I mean, they have actually not shown any strong performances or good uh, uh, games against good teams. So... They are definitely not in the race, and I'm not going to be surprised uh, if they're not coming with their full strength. And more importantly, we see they are pay, playing in Nova, Nova Power Park, ground number five. I mean, five and six, I'm surprised to have these grounds in DCL. So it's going to be Detroit Bulls. Okay. Yeah, uh, see, before I ask uh, other two guys about the, um, about the um, uh, predictions, we have a surprise guest calling in. Okay, welcome to the show, Vijo. Hi, Jagan. Hi, Venkat. Hi, uh, Mahesh Muthiala. And uh, hi, MT. How are you guys doing? Hey, Vijo. Oh, we are How doing are wonderful. Man? It's a pleasure. Hey, Vijo. Uh, you know, it so happened that I was up all night because my buddy Satya needed some help with some FCC, uh, <laughs> FCC playoffs going on and player qualifications and stuff like that. And so he needed me to do some pick up, uh, analyze uh, the other teams. So, you know, today I was up all night. So I said, man, I didn't sleep all night. So, uh, well, this is a good opportunity for me to listen in on the talk show because I didn't get in any uh, this thing. And I thought, OK, let's uh, in- interesting game coming up also. So I thought I'll call in and just check with you guys. Interesting predictions, so I thought uh, I'll chip in with my own this thing. But uh, go ahead. So um, I can ask all the games for your predictions, Biju. That's not at all a problem. No, no, no. I know. I, I, I just wanted to focus only on the Indus Thunders versus the Glads game. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> already, already the guys have already said it is power versus need. There are two games where one is need and one is power. I couldn't agree more. And um, two years ago. Here is the thing. Indus Thunders is the defending champions. Indus Thunders are unbeaten for the last, what, uh, season and three quarters, I guess. And so they're coming into this game unbeaten and uh, absolutely fabulous show. And I think Gopu has done a fabulous job there. We have absolutely the highest regard for Indus Thunders. And uh, indoor finals, it was Indus Thunders against Gladiators. We just defended our turf. And now it's going to be an outdoor game. And now we are on the outdoor turf, which belongs to Indus Thunders. And so I wanted to say something what Joe Namath and Vardala will appreciate it because Vardala is a keen follower of NFL. He knows that Joe Namath uh, and uh, New York Jets, well, right now the New York Jets, but uh, basically they went and played the Super Bowl and nobody gave them a chance to win. Absolutely no one gave them a chance to win. And Joe Namath said, I guarantee you a win. And at that time when Joe Namath said it, nobody believed him. Well, the Super Bowl number three came and went, and Joe Namath won. And the Jets won a Super Bowl. So I came on the show. I thought, you know what? Let's make this interesting. I'm going, I'm doing a Joe Namath. I'm saying, <laughs> go to come with his team. We are going to be there. And I think Imti already said that, you know, whenever Glads lose a game, the very next game, they come back really strong. I will do our level best. I promise you this. I will do our level best sitting from here to put the best Glads team that we can put on there. And two years ago, Gopu told me he's going to come and beat us. This year, I'm telling him we are going to come there and you are going to return the favor. We are going to take their turf away from them. So... How do you like that, Jagan? I'll give you, I oh. gave you the best possible chance to <laughs> spice this thing whole up as the games begin. This is what we are missing, well, with you. All these, all these. Yes, games. yes, definitely, definitely missing this. So this is the second time I'm hearing that somebody can sledge from the uh, dugout and as well as from India. <laughs> <laughs> 
good to see you good to see your voice uh, uh, biju the, the nobody wants to everybody will say come and say you know what everything is good and everything is great they are not prepared to say what is on their mind or on their heart i just said told you what is on my mind and heart i do believe glads will come and we will field our best unit and we will do our everything in our power to win that game and i had, uh, even before the season started i asked satya only one thing i don't care about every other game circle the indus thunders game that's the game which we want to win so if we Let can't me... win it all the more okay. power to indus thunders but they came and they tried to take away our turf in indoor well we are going to try to return the favor in outdoor so uh, there will be no let me ask you a uh, question yeah go ahead okay so if i feel i mean I'm not asking a question but i want to say something uh, that i believe and i'm sure uh, the other fellow analysts will also agree with me if if and only if uh, vidju was available or uh, been here along with this glads team and if we had a game against glads versus in the thunders with the same record no change in that and if you i would have asked 10 people and if 10 people picked uh, out of 10 probably you know even if it goes 5 and 5 to glads and indus thunders but if somebody knew that viju is here i'm pretty sure glads will be fancying their chances and will the majority of them will say that probably 7 3 you know or 6 4 definitely not 5 5 so i would i will definitely give that uh, a compliment to you viju i mean uh, but i'm glad that uh, you are still hearing and you are still there for this team and trying to do everything possible to get the the most important win for the team and not only just the win as i said it's the power and it's the thing that you want to carry into the playoffs so good luck absolutely venkat here is the thing i do agree that leadership makes a lot of difference there's absolutely no doubt about it because take the uh, present defending champions they are what they are only because of what sandeep bupu is so you got to give credit to that guy and same thing falcons missed the playoffs last year well they are in the top 2 top 3 in uh, uh, this year and uh, i've always said uh, publicly that for falcons the best leader is venkat vadala and uh, this is not because he was a fellow committee member i just he knows what to say and he'll tell you what uh, is on his mind you may not like what he he has to say but uh, that's leadership leadership is saying what's on your mind and what you truly believe and trying to motivate your fellow players to come and give you a best performance out there uh, so really uh, re- leadership makes a lot of difference i do agree with that and same thing with glcc i have always told jagan that for glcc samish kalam is the best uh, um, leader for them and uh, when they experimented and tried to go with other leaders uh, they missed the playoffs they haven't done so well and it's no mystery to me that when samish is leading uh, Yes, as an opponent, when you play those four hours, uh, you absolutely will hate Samish, and the Lions probably sledge the wrong guy, and uh, um, you know he lives for those kind of moments. And uh, if I went against GLCC, we will get into a few tips there. But after the game, it's all uh, hunky dory. We are all good friends of the game. I know what he brings to the table. I also respect that guy because you know what he raises the level of. all these fellow players so we have a very good game and uh, as you guys summed it up it's power versus need and we wanted to prove a point and so uh, we realized that the champs are in uh, in town and uh, you get only one out crack at the champs so when you get a crack at the champs you should try your best against them otherwise why are you even playing the game there's no need to play the game okay uh, biju yeah now gopu is here Okay, welcome to the show, Gopu. Uh, this is getting better and better. <laughs> wow, the show hi, is Jigen. really heating up now. Welcome, <laughs> Gopu. Hi, hi, Jagan. Hi, Venkat. Hi, team. Hi, Gopu. Welcome. Hi, Vijay. Hope everything is fine with you. And uh, I thought you will be here for this Saturday's game against us. That's what I was talking to Ronak of every day. Like, let's get Vijay for this game. Well, I did the next best thing. I personally would uh, love to, if I could be there for only one game. It would have been for the indoor final and for this game. So I personally was there uh, watching every ball indoor final on the uh, electronic scorecard. So here uh, I'll be doing the same thing uh, when you guys are going against us. So I know ball by ball I was refreshing. Actually, this has become very interesting. But now you'll you'll really like this last game. 
they actually, uh, yeah, the, this is, uh, was it the last game? Yeah, it's the game which we lost. Uh, they actually, somebody actually videotaped it and, you know, sent it over the uh, net. I actually watched the entire game on my 65-inch television. So uh, maybe nobody else watches a uh, DCL game on uh, sitting in India on television, but I actually did watch that Glads versus um, the KECC game uh, uh, on television, actually, and we lost the game. But going into the game, we realized that we didn't have this thing. But this weekend, we will have a good unit out there. Go ahead, Gopu. I am interested, and in, just like all these analysts are interested to hear you from hear from you. This is this is what makes a talk show really interesting and takes it over the top. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what exactly should I say. I don't know, but. Uh... Uh, I mean, I, I just logged off from the show at 10.05, uh, thought like the predictions are almost done, but I didn't know uh, there's a special surprise like which will be coming out of the show. But Oh, actually, these guys yeah, did not I mean, know it. Trust me, Jagan did not know. I, I, on the spot, I was listening to it, and as I said, you know, I was up all night trying to help uh, Satya out with some issues he was having with FCC Cup with regards to player qualification and uh, I was analyzing other teams and that's I, I spent the whole night doing that and then well I said all right let me watch let me listen to the show while listening to the show I thought okay let me call in I called in and nobody picked up the call and so then I texted Jagan and said hey Jagan I'm on the call put me on the call kind of a thing and so that's that's what happened even Jagan did not know that I was coming on the call Okay. I mean, um, nothing to say much on from our end. Obviously, we were looking forward for this game because uh, before playoffs, this would be one of our best games. And uh, I don't know much to say, but let's uh, let's see what happens on the ground and uh, the words my uh, words should come out with the bat and ball. That's what I can say. Okay. I agree with that. Absolutely. Now, see, when I, I can't play on the bat and ball, the only thing I can do is words, right? <laughs> but the only thing is uh, the spice should be, uh, I mean, glad spice would only be there if you are here with you. And, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I think you should have visited for this game. And it would uh, be I much... call in for any game. Trust me. So if I had to call <laughs> in for this game, that means this game is a special game. Absolutely. And if I had to circle one game and told Satya, this is the game we want to win, then uh, trust me, I have the highest respect for the in the standards team because that means those guys are really fabulous and uh, uh, clearly your guys are unbeaten for the this thing. But anybody who goes against an unbeaten team, and trust me, Vatnala went against your team. I know what Vatnala will be saying. This is a great opportunity to take down an unbeaten team. Let's give them their first loss. And uh, if you uh, don't go with that mentality, then uh, you shouldn't play the no, game. Definitely. I mean, thanks for all the kind words. But definitely it would be a cracker of the game. I can say that because I'm getting my best 11. So good. let's let's see what happens on the field. Very good, guys. Wonderful. And, um, you know, uh, it's already uh, uh, 20 minutes over our show time. Uh, we will uh, conclude this show with the last words from all of the guys in this show. Uh, Venkat, starting with Venkat. Thanks, Chagan. And uh, thank you all the listeners. And I think we all, uh, as a team here, are bringing in Gopu and with you. Uh, and I, I, would, I would give the uh, hat to Chagan for doing that. I'm pretty sure he's the one who pulled in Gopu to have uh, him on the show along with uh, Viju. So having both of them actually spice this uh, talk show at the later part of the stage. And uh, thanks to all the listeners for listening and tuning into this great uh, TCL radio show. Good night. Oh. Mahesh, with you, you brought yeah. real spice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I can do these days. Uh, because I like just Viju is in India and I am in US, but both of us are not with bat and ball at this time. So... <laughs> so that's the best we can do so uh, anyways uh, again thanks Jagan thanks for uh, inviting me for this show it's really wonderful and uh, really um, once uh, Vidyu steps in uh, it really <laughs> boosted the show and with uh, cherry, uh, with icing on the cake uh, Gopu with nice words as well so looking forward for the cracker of the match uh, it was really fantastic to be part of this show good luck to all playing teams Inti 
Yeah, uh, I would first of all uh, like to thank all the listeners for uh, staying uh, this late and uh, listening to the entire show. And also thanks to Viju and Gopu for joining us on the show and spicing up the things right in the end. Uh, hopefully, uh, now everybody is very much eager to watch this cracker of a game. Uh, all the best to the teams, all the playing teams, and uh, all. Uh, I would just like to thank all the listeners again. Thanks. Okay, Viju. Well, uh, Jagan, uh, thank you so much for having on the show. It was uh, a treat to come back after uh, probably a year, but uh, uh, I actually miss DCL a lot. I miss uh, the DCL committee meetings a lot, but uh, more than that, I really lived to play on Saturday uh, and uh, 39 teams. Uh, I really miss it uh, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I really wish I could uh, somehow transpose myself and be there. It's the same thing Ajay Reddy said uh, when they played uh, against us that, you know, he didn't get the same effect kind of a thing. I, too, miss it big time. And um, that's uh, a wonderful product which we have out there. Hope we can maintain it the same way. But uh, this weekend is going to be a cracker of a game, and I uh, really have the highest uh, respect for uh, Gopu's team. And uh, I did feel that, you know, uh, I should do my portion to spice it up. I'm sure whenever I speak, Gopu will say that, you know, his guys get more motivated than uh, anybody else. And uh, we want them motivated. After all, if we can't take their best, then uh, we shouldn't be in the business of playing the game. But uh, all of us play a game for it to be extremely competitive, not to go and uh, beat somebody by 200 runs or 100 runs or whatever it is. Uh, we live for these kind of moments, and uh, that's the kind of moments which I'm missing. And uh, the guys which are out there and the teams which are really doing well, the Legends team, and uh, there are a number of the Kia, the Knight Rider Cricket Club uh, team, now, those guys, they have really surprised everyone. Nobody expected them to be in the playoff hunt, and they are you know, right there. There are many teams which have really surprised and done well. The Detroit Bulls team, that's... Uh, I told before the season itself, Mr. Satya, that's a really, really improved team because, uh, and um, then many teams love that, and uh, uh, hats off to them. And uh, good to see some old teams like GLCC absolutely dominating a loaded uh, pool and being unbeaten so far. I mean, uh, hopefully they can continue, uh, but uh, I miss those kind of uh, rivalries. Uh, those kind of uh, situations. And only when you miss that and when you're not able to do it, you really learn how much you miss the game. So personally, I miss it a lot. I miss you guys. I mean, many of you guys, you know, you see week in and week out, you don't realize the value they bring to you. Um, but when you don't have it, that's when you really know how much value they brought to the table. So I really, really miss all of you guys and wish you guys all the best. Uh, I wish my uh, opponent for this team, Gopu, all the best for the coming games, uh, and uh, may the best team win. And uh, if we if we lose, there will be no excuses from us. We will say that they were the better team, and they deserved it. It's as simple as that. So uh, that's about it from my. Hey, uh, Gopu, thanks for joining in the last minute. Okay, so uh, no problem, Jagan. Your Thank words. you so much. Uh, uh, only thing is, uh, I just picked Glad 11. Uh, I know it's very tough for Satya or Viju to pick which 11 to be part of, uh, I mean, against our team. But uh, the only thing is, let's see if my 11 and Viju's 11 matches. And uh, let's put up a good show on Saturday. And Viju, yeah, you always pump me up. Thank you again. Uh, let's see what happens on Saturday. So thanks, Jagan, and uh, everybody uh, for inviting me as well. And... Uh, uh, hope everybody is enjoying the DCL radio, but uh, this is one of the good radio shows what we have uh, in terms of DCL. Okay. And uh, thanks to li thanks to the listeners and ha everybody have a good night and would you have a good morning. All right, cool. thanks a lot, guys. With that, um, we will conclude tonight's show. Uh, thank you, Venkar. Thank you, Mahesh. Thank you, Imti. And uh, special thanks to Viju and Gopu for joining the show. With that, we will end tonight's show here. Good night.